Traveling around England doesn't have to break the bank. I recently went to the city of Norwich for a short city break with my boyfriend over the weekend. It was both of our first time and we absolutely loved it. If you're looking for some England travel inspiration, here's a travel guide of things to eat, see and do in Norwich that are either free, great value or a way to make a decent saving. Right, starting off with travel, we hopped on a direct train from London Liverpool Street via Greater Anglia. A little tip, book your train up to 12 weeks in advance of a rail card and you can get return tickets from London to Norwich for £13.20. Okay, now on with the video. Hello my loves, welcome back to the channel. This trip is in partnership with Visit England, my faves to work with and together we've seen so many places. We've been to Manchester, we've been to Bath, Bristol, Brighton, Coventry and now Norwich. So I am absolutely loving the fact that not only does England have all year round experiences but that I get to have lots of new experiences that I can just travel to easily from London. Let's go. I'm excited. Just dropped off my bags at the Assembly House Hotel and I've now walked five minutes into the Royal Arcade to Yarm, which is Norwich's latest food hall. And Yarm, I learned, is the Norwich word for eat hungrily for which I am I'm very hungry you scan your phone on the QR code on your table and then you load up all of the different menus and the specials and you order online and then they then bring the food over to you I am really craving ramen just to see what Norwich's ramen is like <gasps> hot fried chicken ramen P is going to get some steak because he loves steak <laughs> and bone marrow bone, bone marrow bone marrow You'll find six independent kitchens and three bars spread across two floors here at Yarm. It's an all-day dining concept and food starts from £4. Ramen rice, if you're looking for authenticity, this won't be it. But if you're intrigued by fusion flavours that will hit the spot, then this will be it. It's a big portion too, so it can easily be shared by two. P enjoyed the steak and bone marrow too, and it was a decent sized portions. And here are the prices. If we weren't so full, we'd be eyeing up the cheese conveyor belt. But next time. We're about to go on a tour with Paul Dixon Walking Tours. It's called Norwich and Introduction and it's only £8 a ticket per person for a one hour 45 minute tour showing you all of like a little taster of what to expect in Norwich. So we're going to go to the Creative Quarter, we're going to go and see the Cathedral, Cinema City, Elm Hill which is actually where I am right now. I personally love a tour so I can't wait to go for a little walk around, stretch your legs after that food Let's go. <laughs> Let's start with the Royal Arcade in the Castle and Marketplace Quarter, where Victorian architecture and Art Nouveau meets. Here you'll find everything from unique boutiques, including a gin academy, jewelry shops, toy stores, handmade chocolates, to an art gallery right in the heart of the city. Moving on, this is the Norwich Guild Hall, England's largest and most elaborate medieval city hall. There's a free tour you can sign up to until the end of April before the area gets ready for the highly anticipated annual Norfolk and Norwich Arts Festival that spans across 17 days. If you love shopping, Gerald's is Norwich's family-run department store that's been kept in the family since 1770. Or you can search for small independent retailers from the Norwich lanes. Fun fact, it was also the winner of the Great British High Street and this is a place where the old meets the new, like you can find a 14th century merchant house turned into a bustling cinema, artisan coffee shops or innovative restaurants. Norwich is very walkable and before we knew it, we were at the Riverside in no time. Apparently, there's a lot of picnics, paddle boarding and little boats here when the weather's a bit warmer. Right, we're off to Elm Hill now. Isn't it so pretty? I took more about this later on in the video because I clearly couldn't get enough of it. So I'll save it for then and I'll move you on to Norwich Cathedral, a 900 year old iconic piece of ancient architecture with free guided tours available from Monday to Saturday throughout the day. I'm now walking up Elm Hill and this is meant to be a photographer's dream and a videographer and a vlogger's dream. It is beautiful. You've got cobble streets, a lot of independent shops and Elm Hill was also the movie location for Stardust and also the Netflix Christmas film in 2020, Jingle Jangle. There's also a bear shop. We can find lots of teddy bears. I love this. Elm Hill is the most complete medieval street here in Norwich and there's a great fire in 1506 which pretty much destroyed all of the area but then everything was rebuilt so the thatched houses the merchants houses the individual homes all of that was now completely rebuilt and now we can enjoy the cobble streets the boutiques the antiques and it is 
so pretty down here. We are now in the Britain's Arms Nine Elm Hill and it's actually one of the only five thatch buildings left in the city. But now in 2023, you can actually come here for amazing cake. They've also got an evening menu that's open on Thursday, Friday and Saturdays. And it's just beautiful here. The staff are really lovely. Music is great and it's just idyllic. So lovely little place to come to, Britain's Arms. <laughs> A 12 minute walk back from town to the assembly house and look at how beautiful it is in the evening look at the little lights around we've got a water feature and it's right opposite the bbc office as well so i feel right at home designed in 1754 on a site of a former medieval chapel the assembly house is a grade one listed red brick georgian gem now it's a boutique hotel to 16 luxury rooms and known for their multi-award winning afternoon tea just checked into our room we are room 16 at the assembly house and oh my goodness it is so beautiful here isn't it yep <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of historical context of what <laughs> the Assembly House is all about and how you can make a saving. I want to tell you about the special offer the Assembly House are running until the end of March. From Sunday to Thursday nights, you can secure yourself a beautiful room with a bottle of fizz, afternoon tea for two, parking and a cooked breakfast with a continental buffet for the both of you from £179. It's a major saving compared to the usual rate, so I'll pop a link in the description if you want more info. Right, all that talking has made me ravenous. I've heard a lot about Grosvenor Fish Bar for fish and chips, and it seems the whole city beat me to it. We joined the queue and we took a gander at the huge menu up in front of you. As you know, we both love to eat and we finally settled on three mains between the two of us. Not sure I made that considering how big the portions are, but absolutely no regrets whatsoever. This seems to have the best chips I had in fish and chips, so... Uh, I promise I'm not just saying it because we, like, we're working for England. Panos just said, this is the best fish and chips he has ever, ever had. And I'm kind of conflicted because I grew up near Brighton, but also this... <laughs> It's actually one of the best I've ever had. I would say the tuna though is dry. I couldn't taste the wasabi mayo at all, which was the, the point of why we ordered it. But the crusty crab, the soft shell crab is so good. Sea bass, so good. The batter's not oily. It's crispy. It's hand cut chips, thick gravy. Prices are so reasonable. The portions are absolutely huge. And here are the prices. Extremely reasonable given the quality and the portion size. We've been craving this ever since we've been back. I want the sea bass and P wants the crab. That was so good that I would never come to Norwich again without going to Grosvenor Fish Bar. It's a good thing that we're super full because we're now heading over to Bowling House for a game of retro style bowling with the bowling lanes, some drinks, and then we've got a little bar afterwards. My bowling name would be Super Bowl. <laughs> Are you ready to lose? Are you ready to get wrecked? <laughs> we're now lane number one. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. I'm not sure why I kept wanting him with the Super Bowl fight talk because I really wasn't very good at this. Uh, or did I purposely let him win? Not only does Bowling House have retro temp and bowling, but there's also karaoke, a cocktail bar, and a diner to grab food before and after your strikes. It's £19 for 30 minutes per lane, and you can have up to six people, or you can sign up for a one-year membership for £40 with a free session of karaoke and bowling thrown in. I just got my first half strike, whatever it's called. As well as discounts throughout the year on those activities as well as food and drink. I'm purposely being a bit bad at bowling to let him win, which is so gracious of me. I did not even try. Let's go to the gym bar. Guy in a gimbal serves zero waste, outrageously great gin and cocktails. Prices are £9 per cocktail or it's £6 if you visit before 9pm. And there's also the option for Negroni flights and post-dinner £2 snacks too.
woken up bright and early and had breakfast downstairs. I had an English fry up. I don't know why, I always get an English fry up whenever I'm away at a hotel. We are so sad to leave this room. Like, we adore this room. <laughs> Did you enjoy your stay here? Yes, it was great. What was your favourite food they've eaten so far here? The crab. Oh, the crusty crab with the po' boy sauce. Oh my goodness, that was so good. And the fish and chips, the sea yeah. bass. It was so fresh. Many's heard after call. That gym bar last night was fantastic and it was so good. It was £9 for a cocktail and they were so creative so sophisticated and we i actually think we loved every single one that we had gotten our favorite ones being the tomato one which is kind of spicy. like a spicy tomato vodka um based cocktail but instead of a bloody mary where you've got like the pulp and the juices it was so much lighter but it was still punchy and had jalapeno like it was so delicious oh and i also love that smoky one as well let's check out and uh oh my gosh we actually are matching today look <laughs> Da da da. <laughs> I'm now wandering around Norwich Market. There are 180 resident retailers here, ranging everything from vintage clothing to mobile geek squads. You've got street food stores, you've got places that sell fish and chips, bacon baps in the morning. People are queuing up for their morning sausage bap. This market actually dates back to over 900 years of history and it also overlooks the cathedral as well. And it's a lovely sunny day. You've got benches outside to eat, grab your street food. Oh, and there's also a Shanghai and um, Singaporean inspired street food place. So we kind of want to check that out when it opens, but it's really lovely full of locals and you just wander around all down the road. This is also one of the largest and oldest open air markets here in the country and it's also home to the city's smallest bar, Toby's Beer. Paul yesterday on our tour said that we had to go and try Cochina Mia for Chilean food and neither one of us have ever had food from Chile before so we've just ordered a steak sandwich for you and then I've got a chicken and chorizo or chorizo empanada. There's a pug. Oh my gosh, it's wearing little socks. Oh, so cute. Sorry, got distracted there. And um, I also add some salad instead of fries because I had so much chips yesterday. And a little sparkling water for a pound. So lovely lunch. And also they've got some reserved seatings just opposite as well. So you can sit down and eat and people watch, which I think is great. Oh, oh, oh. And the empanadas are freshly baked daily and you can actually see the owner rolling out the dough and preparing it all um, in front of you so that's very cool. Are you excited? Very excited as always. <laughs> can you not see? <laughs> it is huge look at my finger oh look at this empanada I've also got a generous size salad with some quinoa in there sweet corn some beetroot salad tomatoes eight pounds yum let me show you inside it's piping hot and it just came out fresh from the oven looks like this inside mm. that empanada was delicious and i love the salad but the star of the show was definitely the steak sandwich that P had. We are now heading over to the Sainsbury Centre Official Arts, which is at the university campus. And there's three different ways of getting here. Number one, if you want to be cheap and cheerful, you can walk. It's a two mile walk. So it takes you from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how quick your little feet are. The second one is to rent a traditional barrel bike. So it's very, very reasonable. You can get it in a bundle. It's 10 pounds for 200 minutes. And you can cycle there and cycle back. Or you can also get a bus from the city center number 25 and it's two pounds single and it's about a 20 minute bus ride and then it just gets you here at the campus so i'm gonna head in and i'll show you around Woohoo! admission is free and you don't need a ticket to attend but they also have some paid for exhibitions they have two coming up in march actually which i'll tell you more about the cuboid structure out here it's also used in three different Marvel Avenger movies, which I'm a big Marvel fan, so I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Are you Should excited? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Ooh. Ooh. There. Okay, we're here. Yeah. 
I'd advise at least an hour and a half to fully make the most out of your visit. There are art collections from Bacon to contemporary anthropological and archaeological works as well as a 350 acre outdoor sculpture park too. It's also very kid friendly so a good activity for all ages. It was closed on the day of our visit but there's usually a little cafe and restaurant there too for hot mains and freshly baked pastries. Oh my goodness this is made entirely from wood but looking at it as a 360 it just gives you so much from every angle like from here but then if you go over here oh my goodness that level of detailing is incredible just hop back on the bus and back at the assembly house for the Alice in Wonderland themed afternoon tea and it's P's first time ever trying afternoon tea. We're now sat down inside the dining room and it's a Georgian dining room as well and it's beautiful. And I've got the little Alice in Wonderland themed afternoon tea. It's running from now until March the 18th here. And you can actually have it as part of your stay for a very, very special rate all throughout March as well. A mix of like carrot cakes, we've got a gold glitter creme brulee, we've got little sandwiches, a cheesecake, obviously the queen of hearts jam tart and also the savory um things for like cheese biscuits we've got tweedle dum and tweedle dee scones oh yeah also by the way do you say scone or scone and do you do clotted cream and then jam or jam and then clotted cream i feel like i do jam first and then the cream yeah that's my that's my combo starting off we have the little drink me potion and it's got four different flavors inside so let's give it a try and see what it is like Oh, he says raspberry. I feel like it's got pineapple. Jam. Ooh, it's here. Look at this delectable spread. This afternoon tea was included as part of the Assembly House special deal they're running throughout March. And these tasted even better than they looked. The perfect way to end our city break in Norwich and definitely left us on a very sweet note. See what I did there? <laughs> Just like that, we are back on the train with our scone because that was such a generous portion. And they were like, we've got extra sandwiches and scone and we were like, we can't finish it. So we've taken it on board with us. What an amazing trip to Norwich and hopefully what we've done over the past two days and one night has given you some ideas for your next short break all around England to Norwich. Like honestly, there's so many experiences all year round and it's just such a good way to bond and connect and do new things. Like there was our first time ever going bowling together and like having these food memories and first afternoon tea it was amazing and also I absolutely love the Sainsbury Centre for Visual Arts as well and this is a sculpture trail and it's going to be a free sculpture tour opening from April uh, but now we're in this warm and cosy Greater Anglia surface back to London so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and more information about what we got up to in the description thank you so much to Visit England again for collaborating with me on this my faves to work with and I can't wait to see what's next bye bye Enjoying it? Mmm. Want some? I have a, this bag. Trust me. Mmm. Trust me, it's good. It's just really fresh. Mm -hmm. Please forgive me. It looks like we matched our jumpers on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we kind of did. Why did you 